everybody, Tom Joyer from Visionary Music Group here. Hope you're doing great. We're continuing with our third video in our series, Demo to Master. Mike Kelly, My Heart is the song we're working on. Singer-songwriter Mike Kelly, very talented guy, great tune. So, so far in our first two videos, we covered the initial demo we received and then where we have brought it to so far. So we're at the point now where the lead vocals have been recorded. The whole track is sitting pretty good, and now we have to deal with the background vocals. We hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please subscribe, hit the like button. It does help us. We appreciate your support. And hit the notification bell so we can let you know when there's more content like this coming. Also, leave us any comments. We'll be glad to get back to you. Let's talk about how we have to prepare for the background vocal sessions since we are in a totally virtual world now. So now everything we have done so far was bounced down to these stems. So you can see here in red is my heart track. So let's listen to that. That's just a track. And then our vocals in green. So let's add that. So this is his vocals to date, what he's done with his lead and his doubles. I'm getting closer to you. I'm shooting for the stars, know what I gotta do. So down here, this track is the reference background vocal stem. So these are some of the ideas he had. Sometimes I sing them, sometimes the artist sings them. I think Mike did these. I'm getting closer to you. I'm shooting for the stars, know what I gotta do. One, two, three, you coming with me? Sometimes I also will, will do things, once I tune the lead vocal and Melodyne, I'll make my own harmonies. And then for fun, it's always nice to hear a little of what we did now, where we're at. I'm getting closer to you. I'm shooting for the stars, know what I gotta do. And then to hear the original. But I can't see. I always keep that there as a reminder to make sure I'm not getting too far off track. Once this session is done, what will happen is I will send this with a tempo map and a marker map, you know, arrangement map to the singers, whoever it may be. If they have Pro Tools, I will just send the session. Most of them don't. Most of them are working out of Logic or GarageBand. So this is my session number 10. So let's, let's close this one down and let's get into session 11 where we have our first round of background vocals. We can't really have two singers in a room together and work out parts, which is my usual MO. So my feeling about it is I, I will always send it first to, to one of the singers that I think I can, I can work with and get the best performance. Amazing singer friend of mine, Audrey Martels, she gets it first. We usually have the most creative rapport to start things off, and, uh, and she's really fast and she does a great job. So now here is what she did. All of these tracks down here are Audrey's. So she did quite a bit of work, and I also do the same thing I talked about in a previous video. I print everything through my analog chain, and I may do some tuning, and then we'll end up with it here. That's all cleaned up. So let's check her out. You're doing what you do is getting to me. I'm getting closer to you. I'm shooting for the stars, know what I gotta do. So it's really cool about Audrey's voice and her talent is that she can blend really well and then create sections where it doesn't sound like one person. So let's talk about her, her parts individually now that we've heard her with Mike. So her first part is a double. Cause you're standing alone Paying me no mind Staring down at your phone Then a triple, then I quadded So I'm starting to think I see you by yourself Baby, let's get a drink Now I might not use all of that But I wanted to have it Just in case And she's so good and so fast That it, it was definitely worth it So then in the pre-chorus She sang some harmonies She did all her doubles and quads so here's where she started in the pre with the unisons. One, two, three. And then we added harmonies. One, two, three. Then we added more harmonies. One, two, three. That's a cool one. Four, five, six. Start with a kiss, start with a kiss, start with a kiss. All right, so then we get to the chorus. Start with a kiss, start with a kiss. 
for you. You could say I'm sort of obsessed with you. Like I'm on some sort of quest for you, my heart. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six of Audrey in the chorus. Pretty much she patterned the whole thing around that. And then she did these My Hearts, the tag of the chorus. My heart beats out of my chest for you. You could say I'm sort of obsessed with you. Like I'm on some sort of quest for you. My heart, my heart. All right, so there's all of Audrey's parts. And the only thing we didn't cover was in the very beginning, there was this volume swell thing that was really cool that and Audrey upped that. Uh, my heart beats I mean you can listen to this a cappella, it's really it's really nice. So normally to me this sounds like a three singer song. A three background singer, I'm sorry, or four even. But you know, due to budget and due to all this moving stuff around, you know, we did it with two. And since Audrey's really great and then the second singer, my buddy Jose Lou, who's a fantastic singer also, and they blend great. Even when they're not in the room together, we can get it to sound like they are. He did his parts. Now you're going to see down here all of his. So AM is Audrey and JL is Jose's parts. But let's check out what we have. Let's make a, we're going to make a group of all of Audrey. And then we'll make a group of Jose so we can bounce around and hear how they work together. So what you see me doing here is I, I had separated the choruses from the pre's and from the verses because I, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to hear and there's no way when they're not in the room to, to put it all together and say, oh, all right, well, this is going to be, you know, this or you sing that part. It's, it's not going to happen. It's, it's, it's uh, you know, we don't have that immediate feedback. So what I have to do in this case and all these virtual vocal productions is get way more than I need and then kind of back off on it because I don't have the option of having everybody in the room having that feedback. Here's Jose. My heart beats out of my chest for you. My heart, my heart. It's so fun thing. So here's them together. Paying me no mind, staring down at your phone. So it's not a thing. I see you by yourself, baby, let's get a drink. Let's pop Mike back in. See what he's doing. Paying me no mind, staring down at your phone. I saw him starting to think. I see you by yourself, baby. Let's get a drink. But I can't help to see. Harmony? You're doing what you're doing, it's getting to me. I'm getting closer to you. Harmony again coming up. I'm shooting for the stars, know what I gotta do. One, two, three. You're coming with me, you're coming with me, you're coming with me. Four, five, six. And the chorus. Start with a kiss, start with a kiss, start with a kiss. My heart beats out of my chest for you. You could say I'm sort of obsessed with you. So we have a quad of every chorus. We have doubles and quads in the verse in some spots. We have a couple harmonies in the verses. So all the green is the background. So let's shrink this down. You get a look at what's available. So that's kind of what you need for a pop production, although I did split them up to sections, so it's probably about 12 or 13 tracks. All right, so let's jump now how we kind of got ready for the mix because we had to do this in, in stages because there was different sessions floating around. So what you saw there was I had to make stems of, of the track, stems of the lead and backgrounds that Mike did with their effects. And then I had to build all the individuals underneath them separately. So right before I'm ready to get, get everything together to mix, I clean everything up and I make sure there's no extra, you know, files floating around, no crossfades, so it's nice and clean. And if there's anything I want, you know, effect-wise or, or EQ-wise that I was working on, I keep it in. So in this one, I went back and double-checked everything and cleaned everything up, and I basically left it with just the music, just the effects that I liked that I wanted to bring into my mix session, and then Mike's leads basically broken out. And that's all we have in this session. What you'll see in my mix sessions are 
you will see the mix on the top of the session. And this is the finished mix, so we'll take a listen to that a little bit. One, two, three. You coming with me, you coming with me, you coming with me. Four, five, six. Start with a kiss, start with a kiss, start with a kiss. My heart beats out of my chest for you. You could say. So I'll print back into the session. You'll see through the burl uh, B2 bomber. And we can hear it. We monitor it here. Then what I do is I will use this mix aux for all my processing on my two butt. So then as I move down, you'll see I have VCAs, and the VCAs are my way of controlling groups. And then in blue, I have all my side chains. And you can check, there's plenty of mix videos where I explained all this. Then I make subgroup auxes with processing. And this is all in my template, so this is great. So I just pop them up, and then if I like something, I leave it on. If not, I shut it off. I don't really change it much. And then everybody's assigned to their own sub. And then all of my new, new audio comes in down here. And then I just reassign the outputs to the appropriate place and then see if my balances are working. And then if they are, great. If not, I just make some subtle changes. And then we're pretty much getting ready to mix. And then I also use uh, you know automation extensively after that. Now let's talk about this, the Insta Flanger. So you can see here, this is automate to turn on and off. So let's find out where we did that. Okay, so there's two spots. So right here, so let's take a listen. So just when that swell happens and the sweep happens with the vocals, I thought it was cool. Here again. Okay, let's let's listen to through it and let's turn it on and off. You looking over here, I don't think it's a lie. Cool, but a little boring. Out still. This is feeling so right. You put the moves on me, now we're in the spotlight. Kill the lock on my key. So you can see most of the automation activity is happening in the vocals. So here's that swell at the top of the tune. And you can see all those little dots along the way means I wrote it up with a fader control thing as opposed to just a quick if it was a straight line, that means I would have edited it in. So here it is. So then the bulk of the automation is going to be on the lead vocal, of course. So something I kind of got into a long time ago, and then as I read more and study more of what some of the master mixers really do is, you know, they really get inside the lead vocal and, and they'll raise like little bits of phrases at the end of the phrase up so you get all the the breath you know and all the emotion out so you'll see really keeping this you know right in the front you, so here's the lead So there it is. Demo to Master, My Heart by Mike Kelly. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Please subscribe to our channel. We have much more like this. Hit the notification bell so we can let you know when they come out. And please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. That really does help it. And we appreciate your support. Leave us some comments, questions, whatever you like, ideas. We will do a deep dive mix video on this. Stay tuned. We're going to do some more of these demo to masters. We're going to try to put them out every week or two. So thanks again. Stay safe. Be healthy. Appreciate your support.